Marriage rules continue. Uh, marriage maintains family cohesion, and so do these two uh, liverite and sovereite um, traditions. A marriage custom leverite, a marriage custom in which a widow marries her deceased husband's brother. This keeps her in her husband's family. Again, kinship and who you're with uh, becomes essential. Uh, Sarah Wright, a marriage custom in which a widower marries a sister of his deceased wife for the same reason. Family, kinship system, the complexity of a culture's rules governing the relationship between a phenal and consanguinal kin. A phenal being marriage, consanguinal being blood creates patterns of responsibility through relationships. Again, consang uh, consanguinal kin is related by blood. A phenal kin is related by marriage. Family. Traditional family forms. Family of orientation. The family of orientation is the family you grew up with. It orientates you to the world, to what family is, and to the relationships. Family of procreation. The family you form to have children with and become the orientation family for your children. Extended family, two or more nuclear families related in some way by blood who live together in the same household. Family forms in industrialized societies, we have expanded families, blended families, matrilocal, patrilocal, single parent families, on and on. Patrilocal residents, the groom's father, uh, the groom's father brought his bride to live with his father. The groom brought his bride, sorry, the groom brings his bride to live with his father's house. The result is a patrilocal extended family. A matrilocal residence. Newlyweds reside with or near the bride's mother, who in turn is living with, a near, or with or near her mother. The result is a matrilocal extended family. Residence patterns. Neolocal residence. A couple lives on their own. I've talked a lot about a, comp uh, a lot about a economy and social um, uh, behaviors. One of the reasons we have neolocal is we're a consumer society. So every new household is a society is a group that needs to buy all new things for that household. So it drives consumerism. A patro matrilocal residence, a resident group consisting of a woman and her children residing without co-residence of a husband. Matri a matriarchal societies, like we talked about with the Nier and the New. Um, a bunky local residence, a post-marriage resident rule that requires the bride and groom to reside with or near the groom's brother. A vuncular, like uncle. By local residence, the condition in which a newly married couple resides either with or near the groom's parents or bride's parents. Patrilocal. Patrilocal is when the couple lives with the groom's parents. Matropatrilocal residence. A temporary resident form in which the groom moves to live with the bride's family until bride wealth payments are complete and the couple take up permanent patrilocal residence. For Nisa and her husband, um, he lived with her parents for several years and then they'll move back with his, his family. Rules and customs about mate selection and marriage differ widely around the world. Mate selection is either free choice, free choice with parental approval, or arranged. Marriage finance is often complex and includes bride wealth and dowry. The, there are several forms of marriage and each has its unique adaptive advantage to the environment and to the economy. Customs regarding residence after marriage are varied and the functions of such resident patterns reflect issues that are more important within each culture. All right. I hope this was much better than the last one. I will post a video to the Zoe uh, separately. Thank you very much.